Hi there. Welcome to a tutorial that's going to show you how to take a MailChimp newsletter and add a graphic element to it where it was not originally designed to have a graphic element. Now MailChimp gives you a lot of different newsletter styles to choose from in their wide range of styles but I happened to run into a style that I really liked but it didn't have a graphic element so what I wanted to do with this was to show you how I managed to change that text element into a graphic element to work for the newsletter style that I was using so we're here at the pick a template section of the MailChimp newsletter uh, uh, newsletter selection we are in the newsletter section of their uh, different categories and what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the simple newsletter and if you take a look at the simple newsletter this is probably their most basic newsletter style um, but it has this text header here it does not have a graphic header the way that some of the other newsletter styles do and so I like this style of the newsletter like the layout of it and the different content elements that they had but I wanted to have a graphic at the top as opposed to just text so I went about and changing that and so I'm going to show you how to do the same thing so we're going to select the simple newsletter and once we get to the edit screen of the simple newsletter this is what what we do I've added my graphic element here okay and I'll show you how I did that you go into the edit section for the tech where the text would normally be and you add your graphic element and so I just went to the file manager for images and I clicked on the image that I had which in this case was logo long and what it automatically did was it resized the logo image because that image was normally like 900 pixels wide it automatically resized that image to be the width of the newsletter which is 600 pixels in this case so we've already inserted that so we won't insert that again and then the other thing that you have to do on this template here, you need to go to the source code and there will be some H1 tags here. You need to remove those H1 tags because that create that takes away a little bit of space that the size of the H1 text would normally take up in that space there. So you re re would remove those H1 tags and then you just click save and close. Now, we've still got a lot of work to do because we've got all of this space around here that we have to deal with. So what we would do is we would go to the header section and go to the header style. Actually go to the header text, sorry. And in the header text, we would just start changing things. We make the text size small like this, but the main thing is it's taking out all of this padding here. The, this padding has 40 pixels on one side, 20 pixels on, on each other sides. We're going to go through and take out all of this padding. We're going to leave the text aligned in the center. We're going to change the vertical align to bottom so that it, it will ultimately rest at the bottom of that. Now we still have a little bit of space around the graphic that you can see right there. So we're going to go in, uh, we're going to go and change the space around that graphic. We'll go into header style and we're going to change this basically to white. And that takes away the space there. Okay, now we are almost done. Last thing here is we go into the body style and we will make this border non-existent click none and then click zero to make sure that it is none and from there that we're just about complete with what the newsletter is going to look like with the graphic header so one way to kind of see how it looks is go into the open pop-up preview and take a look at the newsletter so now you can see in the newsletter that we have the graphic element here. It is a not very tall graphic, I understand that, but you can resize your graphic to be the right height if you want to have a taller graphic. For my client here, this graphic was the size that they wanted to have it for their newsletter. But as you can see, it's completely flush with the body of the newsletter. 
looks nice, it's clean, it's professional, and then I was able to add all of my content elements in the different boxes and everything like that here for my client that worked out very well. So that's how you add a graphic element to the simple newsletter template in MailChimp that does not automatically allow for a graphic element. It's very simple, very easy. Hope you found this helpful. Leave some comments and a thumbs up um, in the comment section if you like it. And if you do like it, please stay tuned for other tutorial videos that we'll be putting out there. So thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day.